today children i will tell you about the sequence of tenses in a sentence sequence of tenses is the principle according to which the tense of the verb in a subordinate clause follows the tense of the verb in the principal clause now i'll tell you what a clause is a clause is the smallest unit of a sentence uh, it is a part of the sentence which contains the subject and the predicate a clause which makes good sense by itself and stands by itself to uh, give a complete sense is called the principal clause or the main clause and uh, the clause which uh, which does not make any good sense and is dependent upon the principal clause to give it a complete sense is called the subordinate clause now i will tell you the rules regarding the sequence of tenses now the first rule is that if the verb in the principal clause is in the uh, present or future tense then the verb in the subordinate clause can be of any tense it can be present past or future according to the sense that is to be expressed like for example i have uh, given there one example uh, he says that she is ill here uh, the principal clause is he says so it is in the present tense and so when the uh, principal clause is in the present tense the subordinate clause that is that she is ill can be of any tense it can be present past or future so this sentence can be written in all the three tenses he says that she is ill he says that she was ill and he says that she will be ill it can be written in all the uh, three tenses in the same way the second example also he will say that she is ill now here your uh, principal clause is in the future tense he will say so here also the subordinate clause can be of any uh, tense present past or future like he will say that she is ill he will say that she was ill or he will say that she will be ill so it can be written in all the three uh, tenses now uh, there is one exception here children that whenever a subordinate clause expresses a purpose condition or time then its verb is always in the present tense even if the verb in the principal clause is in the present or future tense like for example he will do anything so that he may escape punishment now here the principal clause is in the future tense he will do anything and the subordinate clause is so that he may escape punishment so here the purpose is given the subordinate clause is expressing a purpose why will he do anything so that he may escape punishment so that purpose is expressed there so it will always be written in the present tense in the same way the second example you can see we shall leave when the meeting is over so here the principal clause is we shall leave and the subordinate clause is when the meeting is over so uh, here the question is when shall we leave and what is the answer when the meeting is over so here the subordinate clause is expressing time so it will always be written in the present tense now the second rule is that if the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense then the verb in the subordinate clause will also be in the past tense like for example he said that he had finished the work so here the principal clause is he said said is in the uh, said is in the past tense that he had finished the work 
is the subordinate clause and that is also written in the past tense then the second example also i knew that the book would fall so here the principal clause is i knew knew is is, is in the past tense that the book would fall is also in the past tense so both the principal clause and the subordinate clause will be in the past tense they have to be written in the past tense but uh, this rule also has uh, a few exceptions now the first exception is that a past tense in the principal clause may be followed by a present tense in the subordinate clause if the subordinate clause is expressing a habitual fact or a universal truth so even though your principal clause is in the past tense but if the subordinate clause is telling you uh, some uh, universal truth or habitual fact then that will be written in the present tense like for example the teacher said that the earth is round so here the principal clause the teacher said is in it is in the past tense the subordinate clause that the earth is round so that uh, uh, subordinate clause is expressing a universal truth that the earth is round so it will be written in the present tense only you can't say that uh, the teacher said that the earth was round it will be wrong because it is a universal truth that the earth is round it is still round so that will be written in the present tense then the second exception is that when the subordinate clause is an adverb clause denoting a place reason or comparison it may be in any tense as required by the sense even if there is a past tense in the principal clause like for example she succeeded because she is hard working so here here also you see that the principal clause is uh, in the past tense she succeeded but uh, there is an adverb clause there because she is hard working so in such a case uh, you have used the present tense and you can use any other tense also whether past or uh, future also then the third exception is that if the subordinate clause is an adjective clause any tense required by the sense may be used so if there is an adjective clause uh, the subordinate clause is an adjective clause then also you can use any tense there uh, whether present past or future like for example yesterday i met a man who sells hats so here uh, the principal clause is yesterday i met a man and it is in the past tense met who sells hat now here the subordinate uh, clause is an adjective clause who sells hat so that that is written in the present tense so such a sentence can also be written in the past tense and future tense also but if the subordinate clause is introduced by that then the verb in the subordinate clause must be expressed by may or might uh, even when the principal clause is in the present future or past tense like for example i worked that i might pass so here you see that uh, the word that has been used uh, at the beginning of the subordinate clause the principal clause is i worked so that is in uh, that is in the past tense that i might pass so here the subordinate clause has been introduced it has uh, started with the word that so when you start a subordinate clause with that then you have to use the word may or might in the subordinate clause so here your, uh, your uh, principal clause is in the past tense so you have used the word uh, might if it is if your principal clause is in the present tense then you will be using the word may so here the example is i worked that i might pass
or if, if you are writing it in the present tense you can write it as i work that i may pass now the third rule the third rule is that if the principal clause is in the future tense then a future tense is not used in the subordinate clauses beginning with when until before after etc so be very careful children if your principal clause is in the future tense and you are beginning your subordinate clause with these words that is when until before after etc then you will not be using a future tense in the subordinate clause like for example i shall tell you when he comes so here your so principal clause is i shall tell you so it is in the future tense and the subordinate clause is starting with when when he comes so here you will be using the simple present tense you will not write like i shall tell you when he will come you will not be using the future tense in the subordinate clause then the fourth rule the past tense is used after such expressions like if only as if it is time wish that remember you may note down also children which are the expressions uh, after which the past tense is used if only as if it is time wish that so after these expressions you uh, use a past tense like for example i wish that he would come so here the expression used is wish that so i wish that he would so after that expression would the past tense has been used then the second example also if only i had a car here the expression if only has been used and after that a past tense has to be used i had a car then the fifth rule is that that if the conjunction introdu introducing the subordinate clause is less conjunction means the joining word that that is used to introduce a subordinate clause is less then it is followed by should like for example run fast lest you should miss the train so here the subordinate clause uh, is introduced it is starting with the word lest and when you are uh, introducing the subordinate clause with lest then you have to use should in the uh, clause that is uh, so your sentence will be run fast lest you should miss the train so lest is there so you have to use the word should in the subordinate clause then the last rule that is rule number 6 when the subordinate clause is introduced by as though or as if remember children two uh, phrases are there when your subordinate clause is introduced when your subordinate clause is starting with these phrases as though or as if then the past tense is generally used to indicate the present time and the past perfect is used to denote the past time like for example she pretends as if she were blind now here she pretends is the present time so when you are uh, using the present time here then you have used the phrase as if to start the subordinate clause then what will you do you will be using the past tense in the subordinate clause she were blind so she pretends as if she were blind so you have used the past tense to indicate the present time then the second example he walked as if he had been lame so here the uh, time is related to past he walked so past time has been mentioned over there 
and your subordinate clause is introduced by as if so in such a case when you are uh, denoting past time then you will be using the past perfect in the subordinate clause that is he had been lame so what is your sentence he walked as if he had been lame so these are all the rules related to the sequence of uh, tenses children note down all these rules uh, with the examples and you have to be very careful while using tenses in the different clauses of a sentence uh, because if you mix up the tenses uh, and use wrong tenses in the same sentence then it will be a major grammatical mistake you will be losing a lot of marks when you make such uh, major mistakes in tenses so you have to pay a lot of attention to the use of usage of uh, tenses both while writing and also while speaking